In this video, I'm going to connect this to this. Connecting an audio interface to an iPad is very easy to do, and in this video, I'm going to show you what you'll need and how to connect it. I'm Zane, welcome to Audio Tech TV, where it's my goal to help you conquer the tech so you can unleash your creativity by providing easy to follow audio tech tips, tutorials, and reviews. Now, everything that I mentioned in this video, I've linked down in the description in case you wanna check it out for yourself, but right now, let's jump in. So you're going to need one of these cables, and this is the Apple Lightning to USB 3 camera kit. And the one I have is actually made by Apple. There might be some other brands out there, but I don't know if they're going to work. I do know that this one works and it works well. And if your audio interface is bus powered, meaning it gets its power from the computer, or in this case, it will try to draw it from the iPad, you're gonna to wanna to get one of these. And this is a powered USB hub. But if your interface has its own power supply, then you likely won't need one of these. However, I still recommend getting this if you plan on doing some music production on your iPad, as you can connect other things to it, like external hard drives and MIDI controllers, so you can have everything connected all at once. Now, one more optional thing, depending on your audio interface, is one of these here. And I'm using the Audient ID4 MK2 audio interface, which is a USB-C audio interface. So I'm using this, it's a USB-C to USB-3 adapter and that's just to connect it to that camera kit. And like I said earlier, links to everything mentioned in this video are down in the description, just in case you need to check any of it out for yourself. Now let's get connecting. So first I'm going to connect the camera kit to the iPad. And then we'll connect the power supply to the USB hub and then connect the USB hub to the camera kit. Then we just plug in the audio interface, connect it to the USB hub. And this USB hub has a button to turn on that slot. So I turned it on and you can see we have power on our audio interface already. So now you wanna test it out. Now, not all audio interfaces are compatible with iOS and the iPad. And this one here, the Audient ID4 MK2 is compatible right out of the box. It says so on their website, which is why I wanted this one. I've tried it out. It works very easily. All I had to do was connect it like this and it works. So now with it connected, all of your audio is going to go through the ID4. So if you play music on there, it's going through that. If you're watching videos, it's going through that. So test it out to make sure it works. I'm gonna plug in some headphones here. I'm gonna turn on the iPad and try it out, make sure it works. Now, as you can hear, we have some audio going through. So everything's working here. We can now open up GarageBand or whatever app we wanna record in and we can use this to record, which I'm going to get into in the next video in this series. Now, if you want more videos on music production for the iPad, click up here or click down here to see what YouTube recommends. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching for Audio Tech TV. I'm Zane, keep creating, and we'll talk soon.